Welcome to the egg review. We are reviewing eggs. All kinds of eggs. Bird, reptile, you know an egg? I'll review that egg. Why eggs? Well, why not? Is there some guy up in the sky that tells me that I can't review eggs and assign them an arbitrary number between 1 and 10 on a scale of how much I like them? No, there's not an egg man in the sky. There's not a guy up there telling me that I can't do this. I can. I want to do this. There is no Eggman. He's in Sonic. Whether purely for the protein or just for a silly laugh, I've decided that I want to review eggs. So let's jump right into it and start talking smooth and round. Alligator egg. Not round, not smooth, but not quite as flat as a pancake either, because those boys need room to maneuver around in. Alligator and crocodile eggs, by the way, are incredibly similar. And on a scale of throwable to not throwable, I'd give these an okay. Like, you could maybe throw these if you were looking for a replacement for your disc golf disc, and you and the boys were cracking open white claws and paps blue ribbons, and you just decided, hey, let's wallow in the swamp for a little bit. And if you're wallowing in the swamp, you might as well grab an egg and throw it around a couple of times, toss an egg with a couple of the boys. But I wouldn't advise throwing reptilian eggs for fear of pissing off two parties. Flat moms and flat boy stands. Reptilian fans are kind of nuts. 8 out of 10. Brown chicken egg. Breakfast time is almost always egg time. There's something I find weirdly comforting the brown chicken eggs. Something that reaches out to my paltry, poultry soul and grasps it, holding it nice and warm. I just want to put one of these eggs in my mouth and protect it from predators. Which means that this egg isn't allowed to go online. It's not allowed to sign up for a club penguin without my permission. And it's not allowed to talk to YouTubers. Six out of 10. Cardinal egg. Some eggs look like round stones that you would toss with your friend Peter every Saturday afternoon down by your father's lakeside via. Listen, I'm calling out one specific person here that may or may not exist that may have a friend named Peter that may or may not exist and may or may not have a father that may or may not have a lakeside via. On the subject of these eggs, they're small. They would not feed a big man like myself. But if you were small and wanted to eat tiny bird eggs, or maybe you had a hamster or a beautiful guinea pig and you wanted to make a little omelet meal for them with a cardboard plate in a cardboard house and post that to TikTok, then I may see how these are filling. Five out of 10. Platypus eggs. I could only find good photos of replicas, but the guy that sells PNGs in the alleyway by my house said that this is a certified platypus egg picture. It's not an NFT. It's just a PNG that I paid $4,000 for, and it wasn't even real money. I just took it out of the Monopoly box and told him it was board game coin. This looks like it probably has a platypus in it, since platypus, platypus, pla platypus, platypus, pla platypi are notoriously box-shaped creatures. 7 out of 10. Raven egg. Number one, I love blue egg. Number two, this egg looks like it could be full of the blue milk that Luke Skywalker drank in The Last Jedi. I love bringing up Star Wars in videos like these because now you're going to want to leave a very long and very, very intricate review of The Last Jedi Star Wars film. And I think it'll be really, really funny if I see somebody writing in an intricate review of The Last Jedi Star Wars film in my comment section, I'm really just trying to bait you here. And I'm gonna be really upfront about it. I am just trying to bait you for the express purpose of you talking about a film that you either love or hate. I'm pretty neutral on it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty Star Wars doubt. But a raven egg is uh, pretty cool. I like all the blue eggs. The birds themselves are also pretty awesome. Y'all like to read poetry and prose? Well, how about some of this prose, baby? 8.5 out of 10. Ostrich egg. Sometimes in Monster Hunter, there are quests to carry an egg back to your base camp. And since I didn't put any Monster Hunter eggs on this list, because why would I? It's a video game for dorks. I started pondering on what it would be like if ostrich eggs were at normal grocery stores. 
you'd have an influx of big omelet recipes and a lot of egg-related back injuries. And maybe people would send me on a quest every now and then, instead of telling me to please step away from me. I don't have an exclamation point over my head, and I don't know what you're talking about. Four out of ten. Eagle egg. Very eggy. Did you know that eagles don't actually sound like they do in most entertainment? They sound more like seagulls than anything else, and I really shouldn't be surprised since they rhyme with eagle, and with as fake as America is sometimes, should I be even more surprised that our national bird is presented as more majestic than it actually is. Sorry to get a little political in my egg video. This egg video should be more like my favorite video games that are non-political, like Metal Gear Solid, Nier Automata, and Democracy 3. 3 out of 10. Emperor Penguin Egg. Did you know that male emperor penguins keep these bad boys warm on their toes and cover them with their brood pouch instead of sitting on them like other birds do? Wondering now if maybe reconnecting with my father might involve a brood pouch or two, and it might not be worth it in the end. Six out of ten. The mystery egg from Pokemon Gold and Silver. Spoilers, Togepi is in that egg. Sorry. I know that your dad's former co-worker's uncle worked at Nintendo or whatever and told you that the egg is actually full of mystical energy that will allow your trainer to cultivate stronger Pokemon, but unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on whether or not you're an egg lover, it's just Togepi in there. And really, who likes Togepi? There are so many better options. Four out of ten. Frog eggs. This shit looks like slime. Sorry, I'm supposed to be an impartial egg judge here, but really frog eggs always look like something I want to scoop up in my hands and slurp down without any regrets. The forbidden boba tea boba. But then what if I become frog pregnant from eating all these eggs? Frognant. Frog, 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 frogant. I don't know, I don't know. Are we still doing the like whole I hate frogs thing? The whole I hate frogs bit? Frogs are evil? Two out of ten. Cadbury cream eggs. I have never liked Cadbury cream eggs, nor the people who are constantly on the Cadbury cream eggs subreddit, talking about how they get smaller year after year after year until eventually you'll open up the foil and there's no egg in there. If you're like me and you took poor care of your teeth when you were a child, then your mouth is also filled with metal. And you know that these things are kind of similar to eating pins and needles with the amount of stabbing that goes on with your teeth. These and peeps are food that I'll never be able to fathom. I mean, especially peeps. I don't want to go off or anything, but peeps suck. And I can't believe weirdos think that they taste better stale. Is this video attacking you directly? Good. One out of ten. Kingfisher eggs. Egg polishers all around the globe are always talking about how smooth and shiny kingfisher eggs are. Did you know that when the Queen of British lays down her brood for the summer, they sometimes get mixed up with kingfisher eggs? That's why so many of these birds are accidental British citizens. Three out of ten. House sparrow eggs. I had written here... This shit looks like the battle pass. But since I have no idea what that means or why I wrote that, then maybe I'll just say that these bespeckled beauties would look really nice on a knick-knack paddywhack give a dog a bone shelf. Seven out of ten. Minecraft cow egg. How egg, now egg, brown egg, cow egg. I wish throwing eggs in real life summoned animals like a pokeball. But all it does is cause my wife to yell at me about the egg mess, how I need to clean up the egg mess, and I should move the egg mess away from her wife pile because my bovine summoning ritual doesn't work in real life. Four out of ten. Duck egg. This is what those glow-in-the-dark stars that used to be on my bedroom ceiling are made of, right? There's like an egg processing facility that turns the duck egg into glow-in-the-dark stars. Also, someone in the comments section is going to talk about duck genitalia, because every duck video I've ever seen has that one guy who won't stop talking about the corkscrew and how ducks are evil, but I'm sticking to my guns on horses being the most evil animal, and they don't lay eggs so I don't have to worry about talking horse hate. This video. Six out of ten. Coral eggs. I had no idea 
that Coral laid eggs until I started doing egg research for this video. My Iowan brain thought they were some kind of weird ocean plant, but that shit's alive. Like, animals are alive. I guess I should roll with the fact that, that if there's a Pokemon like Corsola of it, then it probably has blood. But I mean, you can't squeeze blood out of a stone, so how am I ever gonna bloodlet this Geodude? Three out of ten. Rattlesnake eggs. I once got my finger pinched in one of these. Snake eggs kind of look like peanuts, but really, isn't it funnier if I put these in the egg video instead of real actual snake eggs? I mean, more for people who have ovophobia or snake ovophobia specifically. I'm trying to broaden my general appeal, and I'm really trying to make sure that any ovophobes feel safe here. But if you are an ovophile, I, I, I don't know. Like, fucking stop kissing eggs, you, you loser. Four out of ten. Robin eggs, not the candy, which I think the candy is slightly smaller. I mean, what kind of a psycho would break into grocery stores all around the world and put one real robin egg into a bag full of robin eggs, hoping that somebody bought the candy, opened it up, took a big bite out of some of them, and then immediately got egg right in their face? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of psycho would do that. That'd be that'd be kind of messed up, honestly. <laughs> I, I I would never do that. I like the blue eggs. Eight out of ten. The Rainbow Egg from Barney's Great Adventure. I've been dreaming about this egg for a while now. Is it weird to have an egg so firmly in your mind to have so many egg dreams? Barney's Great Adventure was my rewatch it over and over and over again movie when I was a kid, and I want to taste it. I want to put the Rainbow Egg from Barney's Great Adventure in my mouth. I want it hard boiled, scrambled, Benedict Cumberbatch. I want this egg eaten. I want to know what it tastes like. I crave this egg. Nine out of ten. Spiral horn shark eggs. Egg looks like someone covered a cardboard cone in oil and started unraveling it. Still one of the coolest looking eggs in the animal kingdom. And I shouldn't be the guy disrespecting the sharks before I've had a swim in the ocean. 10 out of 10. Screech Owl Eggs. Comfy. 8.4 out of 10. Snapping Turtle Eggs. You have to choose one kind of egg you would like to be. Wouldn't you like to be nice and smooth and round? Wouldn't you want to be based and orb-pilled? Wouldn't you want to be nature's golf ball? I know I would. Now I'm wondering what nature's golfer is. So maybe I'll come back to that at some point. Maybe a pelican? Eight out of 10. Vince McMahon's precious WWE Dwayne The Rock Johnson Red Notice Netflix movie egg. WWE did this weird thing with Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, Netflix movie cinema experience, Red Notice. It was a short storyline about eggs and selfies, I think. I just couldn't make a video like this without talking about wrestling for some amount of time. Did you know that a lady once gave birth to a hand in the WWE? You got tricked. I just wrestle rolled you. Get owned. Zero out of ten. Crested Cara Cara Egg. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but this egg is golden brown with almost a burnt marshmallow kind of vibe. Burnt marshmallow, coincidentally, was a name I had for a while in high school after I let one of my mom's drunken friends try to dye my hair blonde and then black. Glad I grew out of that, and if you see me in a Walgreens pharmacy and try to reach out to me by yelling, Yo, Burnt Marshmallow, you're my 10th to 11th favorite YouTuber. I'm going to crush you in my hands like I would easily crush one of these eggs. Not saying that I would crush this egg, just saying that I would crush you like one of these eggs. And I wouldn't regret it. Not one singular bit. Five out of ten. Crow egg. They got the blue egg. I love it when the bird have the blue egg. It feels like a secret rare egg. And I'm proud of crows. Not just for this egg, but also for devastating crops. When I worked at Best Buy, I sold drones to farmers. And trying to sit there and explain how a drone worked to a 75-year-old man so they could patrol their perimeter with it was a transcendently awful experience. And I'm kind of rooting for the crow. Nine out of ten. Digitamamon, a creature, 
a secret lizard, a hidden little surprise. I don't even want to know what's inside this egg. It's already perfect, exactly the way it is. 10 out of 10. Century egg. This is false advertising. This egg doesn't soak for a century before you can eat it. It's only in a hole for a few months. I mean, I get it. Century egg sounds a lot better than the few months egg. And I do willingly eat hot dogs, so it's not like I wouldn't try it. 5 out of 10. Xenomorph egg. They look like smelly cabbages left in an old hole for years. They also have a little guy in there that wants to eat me. I don't want a little guy to get me pregnant. I just got over this with the frogs. 3 out of 10. Monster Egg on the PlayStation 2. I don't know much about this game, but after looking at five minutes of gameplay of it, it kind of looks like uh, one of those older Android games or iPhone games where they were all rip-offs of Bejeweled. And don't sit there and tell me that Bejeweled is actually a rip-off or knock-off of another video game. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about your retro games collection. I know you want to tell me how many copies of Sonic Adventure you have sealed in box, but please let me out of this white room. I want to go see my family. One out of ten. Goose Egg. Ominous Energy. I know that I shouldn't goof with a goose and I'm not the kind of silly goof who would guilt a guy into getting greasy with the goose egg to guilt the goose into going. What I'm saying is that I don't mess with geese. They are some of the strongest birds on this entire planet and they would fight God if given the chance. People always talk about honey badgers, and yet they don't talk about geese in the same breath. There's a special place in heaven for animal lovers, and I'd rather be on the good side of God in case I want to take a goosey gander. 7 out of 10. Peregrine Falcon Egg. These are not decorative rocks that your mom wants to arrange outside for when the reclaimers come to visit this planet. These are eggs. Please stop letting your mom spend copious amounts of cash on peregrine falcon eggs. The neighborhood is infested, and while the rats are taken care of, I'm afraid to go outside. 5 out of 10. The golden egg that I found outside of my house on a cold winter's day. I have no idea if this is an actual golden egg. I mean, it's heavy, but it also smells faintly of iron, like the smell of blood, mixed in with a little bit of fury. I may be in trouble in the future, so if you see a gigantic fiery bird in the skies of the Midwest screeching screams of rage, then understand that that's not Moltres, Pokemon fans. That bird is coming for me. Six out of ten. Quail eggs. Every time I think about quail, I just remember the time a vice president shot somebody in the face during a quail hunt. I mean, it was an accident, but what a wild thing to happen, right? Anyway, you can buy these in a can. You can buy quail eggs in a can. Online. Who buys eggs in a can? 3 out of 10. The egg that held the wrestling chicken. This egg held the wrestler with the name that sounds very much like a slur. I'm not gonna say it just in case YouTube decides to cleanse me with holy, holy fire because they've had many chances before and I'm not putting that to the test, but you knew that I wouldn't walk away from this video without talking about more than just one wrestling egg. No, I will talk about two wrestling eggs. This was a disastrous idea for the WWE and if you did it today, I think you could sell it. Just. Look up Family Guy Funny Moments Peter Griffin Chicken Fight, and you'll see that Birds of Prey fighting dudes, they're a pretty big draw. And I think the Marks would like it. Four out of five stars. Nightcrawler Eggs. It's not a list of Brendan reviewing something inane without him mentioning his grandfather. I don't know why I'm talking about myself in the third person, but my grandpa owned a bait shop for a short while, and I always remember wanting to free the Nightcrawlers, because I liked the X-Men. I also thought that if I freed enough of them, maybe I'd get a boon from the blue teleporting demon X-Men. I'm still waiting for that teleport in and out of a bank vault, Nightcrawler. I also promise you, dear viewers, that I would never put these eggs in my mouth. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't scoop these up and put these in my mouth. That'd be messed up. And I'm not a messed up and crazy guy. I'm normal. I'm normal. Three out of ten. Emu eggs. Blue egg? Oh, dark blue egg? Oh, what a wonderful egg. I'm 
so proud of this egg. I would put this egg on my shelf to show it off to all my friends so we could all laugh and cry around this egg. Maybe even invent a holiday that surrounded this egg. Maybe, just maybe, I would love to have a replica of this wonderful egg. 9 out of 10. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Egg. I think the chocolate to egg ratio on the holiday Reese's is almost always perfect. With less chocolate, more peanut butter. It cancels out how bad the chocolate tastes. Sell this egg year-round. Never stop selling this egg. Keep this egg in all egg-based stores. 8 out of 10. Your mom egg. <laughs> I snapped a picture of you. <laughs> Get fucked. 2 out of 10. Grocery store egg. I think this came from a chicken? Maybe? I should break into a poultry facility to see if there's just a guy squarting all over a conveyor belt, thwacking out eggs as fast as humanly possible. Maybe that's the egg secret. Maybe we don't know where the eggs come from. I've been on farms before, I've even seen chickens lay eggs. But are chickens even real, even if I've seen the evidence with my eyes? Makes you think, huh? 3 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. If you want to see more inane rambling videos, there should be a review playlist somewhere scratching itself around on this end screen. If you want to follow me on Twitch, I'm live pretty often, and I make silly boo boo baba jokes all the time. And I have a Patreon, and you can subscribe, and you can like this video and comment and tell me your favorite egg. Uh, you can also buy shirts on the Brent Daniel store. Am I forgetting anything I'm supposed to talk about at the end of these videos? I'm looking at my watch right now and uh, I'm also looking at my producer that's definitely a real person and they're saying that I'm running out of time here for this end screen bit and I should really wrap it up. I shouldn't just keep talking about this. No, I should wrap it up. Okay. Well, thanks for watching my egg video and uh, I love you. I, 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 I don't know. No? no? Yes? Bye. <laughs>